Do the Andromedans have animals as companions similar to how we keep human pets? Or do animals ever roam free on their ships? Both. Both. But the answer is simultaneous. Um, animals adopt in their world. I'm not aware on the motherships they wouldn't have anything that was feral, something completely wild that, of course, would be a harm to others. But the animals on their craft... Uh, particularly the mother crafts. I can't speak about the home world because I haven't actually been to the home world. Well, hi. The animals are in harmony with not only the nature of the ship, but the harmony of the people. And essentially what happens is, is that the animals choose to adopt specific beings for a specific period of time. Many times they will um, integrate with children during the learning circles. Many times, if there's an adult who is recuperating from an injury or something that has occurred, whether it's emotional or not, and they are choosing to be out in nature, their nature, the animals will come and keep them comfort for that time and then will move on. It's, it's, it's an amazingly symbiotic relationship from what I've witnessed, and it is not all that different from how cats and dogs integrate or, or, you know, have a relationship with us, you know, especially cats. You know, cats choose. They do. Exactly. Yeah, they choose. Cats choose. So it isn't all that different. Their animals are completely different than ours. They do have male and females uh, sexes. They do have a type of feline species. I wouldn't say that they have a canine species. I've not seen anything closely resembling that. But they have other things that are just so difficult to describe. They're different. They're really different. But they show affection nonetheless. Okay? It's very interesting about the, the whole uh, idea of, like, do they have the equivalent of a dog? Which is a very, uh, like, a loyal follow, you know, loyal companion like dogs are. You know, cats are not so close to us. Well, so do they have... That kind of thing, but they obviously we use dogs for hunting, so they don't do hunting, do they? No, no, they're fruitarians. So, but they have this bird-like thing with long, gangly legs that you know could sort of act like a dog, like a canine being protective, and it will position itself um, in front of something that maybe it feels is suspicious or. Um, alarming, uh, or an event that's alarming, it will position itself instinctively in front. Uh, but there is nothing on earth in any way, shape, or form that even resembles it. And it makes some kind of a squealing sound when it moves into that space. And it's ear piercing, at least it was to me. It was very ear piercing. So, you know, it may act like a canine, but it's not in any way, shape, or form. Okay, no. no. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, you don't know what it's called, do you? No. no. Oh, of they, course. They, they, they don't have names, do they? Symbols, but not all the symbols translate into the English language. Exactly. They just don't. 